Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of Legendary Difficulty. It is time to attack yet another Pandoran's Nest. Uh, that is kind of a follow-up activity of defending our city, I suppose. So far, I actually really, really like what I'm uh, seeing. Uh, we are making huge progress. However, I'm still not sure about a couple of design things. Um, mainly, the weapons seem to be oftentimes side grades, and maybe I'm just not understanding the system well enough so far, but it's, it's very rare to see a straight upgrade. The only thing that really uh, struck me as a straight upgrade is kind of the cyber modification of your uh, soldiers. So that in itself seems pretty straightforward. But other than that, the new Jericho weapons are sort of a bit better, but yeah, arguably also sometimes not really. It, it always appears that you need to have two, almost two weapons to fight against multiple enemies. So that's a bit... And the other aspect that I'm seeing so far is this game seems to revolve a, a lot around like just trading. It's not necessarily action economy uh, as turns sometimes uh, don't matter, there's no timer function. Um, my concern is more, there are a couple of really stupid uh, mechanics such as you go completely out of line of sight, come into sight, shoot, come back, and <coughs> there's almost no counterplay. So I'm not 100% sure if, um, if I'm just seeing things the in a in a in a limelight too much uh, influenced by XCOM 2 but I'm missing a bit the tactical depth of what one can do weapons seem to be relatively speaking inaccurate um, on range but going closer almost always includes you trading off hit points with the enemy so it's actually just more efficient to uh, sit back use snipers uh, and indirect fire and whenever someone is stupid enough to come into the open you just uh, kill them at least that's how it worked so far i might be wrong uh, but i figured i share my first impressions at the beginning of most of the missions good destroy all hatchling sentinels which typically means destroy two hatchling What's sentinels Moving over here, Grell spots a couple of enemies. We got some hatchlings and a Scorch Alpha. Grell continues to move forward. Not 100% clear where those hatchlings are yet, but we'll Gotta figure it out going. soon, I suppose. Advancing. Ian moves over. Moving fast. Shattered Realm moves over. Let's get our front line going. Dranks moves all the way to here before then deploying a shield in this direction. I'll be right there. Oiler overwatches, Ian overwatches, and let's roll. Dilly G gets into a nice position, and guess what? Overwatches. Still have nothing really good to do.
with my remaining actions. We're being attacked from behind. Oh yeah. Bullseye. The fire, uh, the uh, guns definitely hit harder than their previous counterparts. Shadow Realm moves up, free fire aim. Enemy killed. Rel pushes forward. Ready to roll. Euler, on the other hand, begins to shoot. I like the weapon, but the new weapon is really helpful. Oh yeah, very helpful. And that shield is awesome. Oh, we have a sniper. I forgot about that. Got one down. Ian moves in. Nothing to discover here. Let's move. Let's move. But careful. I see them there. Moving to coordinates. On the move. Let's shoot a bit more fish because I want to get back into cover afterwards. Overwatching. <laughs> Sniper effectively killed off his arm. Oiler moves up. Free aims right into the head. And gets the guy down. Moves back. Cool. Shattered realm. Free aim. Here. Five by five. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. That was really good. Oh. 
Yeah, I can see that the Gauss uh, weapons Ready. So are just dealing a lot of uh, damage against armor targets. Really appreciate that. Laser weapons equally are good. Bro continues to move up. Okay, Advanced. cool. We can push forward. Caref very carefully moving forward. What's our move? further contact there we go we finally found the root cause of all of this problem I can do it trying to reposition Ian moves over Almost got him down, which is good. I think there is still a second one. Maybe even already. not that. Maybe that was already the entire enemy colony. Okay, we have more than enough folks uh, there. Time to save our back. On the lookout. I'm going. Okay. Of course, jumps uh, the guy who's not immune to mind control. I think I'll just make everyone immune to mind control. It's just outrageous. Time to move up. I think no one is going to come from behind. 
What's our move? I'll keep my eyes open. TDG follows. We're immune to poison, right? We're immune to poison, right? Five by five. Ready to fire. Okay, reuniting our forces. Let's get a shield going, just in case. Dashing ahead. Get him moves up for next turn. points of damage and that should be I think the mission oh I can definitely with the new weapons I can definitely see an increase maybe I I'm just too quick to judge this actually was substantially more damage on the uh, gauze weapons and armored enemies felt less uh, invulnerable simply because the shots were hitting harder good sentient ais laser weapons Oh, I want them. They are good. Neurotoxin weapons. I want them as well. And the infiltrator. Mysterious being known as the Apostle of the Ones Born, servant of the Exalted, has passed by our base, leaving the following message. What is the nature of a human being? Can we change? Is it a fault uh, in our souls where we never, um, where it uh, may never reach, or is it uh, these broken bodies of ours? Perhaps the Phoenix Project can be a vessel of change. It is not up to the humble apostle to make such decisions, but I wish you well. May your actions please the keeper of the threshold. Uh, he will seek you out uh, uh, when you have shown your worth. <laughs> Good. Research. I like grenade launchers. But... Wait. But I like sentient AIs even more. Neurotoxin weapons sound awesome. Laser weapons sound awesome. And infiltrator class sounds like... Second thing that I want to research. Maybe infiltrator plus sniper is a good combo. I don't know the class yet. So we destroyed the nest. Um. A Sinedrian haven is under attack. Okay, so wait, 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 where? Who's under attack and why? Down there, well... Let's 
Let's trade. Food for tech. And then we're moving. Besides manufacture, uh, that Mandicore is still not done because I always find something else to just put in front of it. Research complete. Research point output increased by 50%. Which means this here is now going to be better and faster. Good. Let's search the site here. More stuff. I like it. So, born in the USA base. Living quarters, medical base, store, satellite uplink. Cool. Frozen city. We have recruits? No, not yet. But since we do have people here, might as well do the trainings facility. Just for that little bit extra oomph. Born in the USA, facility, uh, satellite uplink, living quarters, another trainings facility we got the medical bay there so that's okay these are the bases where i actually want to keep staff i'm not sure if you need to keep stuff in all of the bases but those were would be the ones where i think it would make sense still double checking what else we can uh, we can do so I think I want to fly down further to here and then start opening another base down there. I would like to manufacture faster. See, that's an idea. Bases, manufacture plant. That would fully cost our uh, our last building slot. We already got the cybernetic lab. There's still space for more. And I wonder, maybe born in the USA actually becomes that fabrication plan a factory facility that produces weapons armor and equipment and vehicles we do have that already don't we fabrication plan okay but yeah it doesn't i don't know if multiples of them stack for others it really says that more hit points per uh, per hour. Hmm. Because I really would like to get a bit more production output. Does it say somewhere just how how fast you produce doesn't but i tell you what uh we might as well since this here is our research facility right might as well just test it Um, 
Living quarters, we already have that. Okay, cool. Let's stamina regeneration. A factory facility that produces weapons, armor, equipment and vehicles. I tell you what, we're just trying it and see if it works. Personal. We got more recruits. Many more recruits. So, we got assault, heavy, and another assault. Close quarters specialist. That's good. Perception range. Thief. Strong man. And extra willpower. Willpower and 10 perception range is good. I like that. This here is free shotguns, which I like even more. So I think you're hired. Yes, and we would have like a heavy here. Let's just double check personal. So we got a technician, a sniper and an assault. Might as well take a heavy. Okay, so that's four people there. I could see a second assault, which is number five, and then we would have a sixth um, person, which we can recruit there. So let's just recruit an entire team. We will need to equip them, but That'll have some more time. Haven destroyed. No, you're kidding me, right? Flew all the way over here and now the Haven. Too slow. Okay, whilst we're here. Might as well uh, go there. So this would be a Pandoran uh, rescue mission, a scavenge mission. We're going to do that next. Um, how's the manufacturing looking? Almost got all of uh, the armor done. That's 14 armor, stealth and five accuracy. It's just barely a little bit less uh, armor, but way more stealth, it's 20%. And so far we have assault sniper. Okay, we can't even give him uh, the infiltrator. I don't think that you can have three classes, but it's okay. No worries, stealth still seems to be a good option. Good, we're going to do that next mission soon. Uh, until then, I would say thank you for watching and see you on the next scavenger mission. Take care guys, bye bye.